Hello children, welcome to science class. I am your science teacher Apoorva and today we will talk about moon. Yes, so we are going to study chapter number 4, moon and artificial satellites from your dewdrops term 3 book. Okay, so before this chapter we have studied the chapter light and shadow. Now we will continue with moon. All of you have seen moon in the night. Okay. So this is a view from the moon looking towards the earth. This is how the earth looks from the surface of moon and we see the moon from the earth's surface. Okay. So let's talk about it. We all know that moon is the brightest object in the night sky. It is absolutely right. But it has no light of its own. In the chapter light and shadow I have told you that moon does not have its own light because it reflects the light of the sun because moon is a non-luminous body it is not having its own light it only reflects whatever light it receives from the sun that light it reflects that's why moon shines in the night since the moon is nearer to the earth it appears to be bigger than the stars the distance of the stars and the earth is very large means the stars are very far from earth whereas moon is very close to earth that's why moon appears bigger but actually stars are the biggest bodies okay but all stars and planets are much bigger than the moon the moon is the earth's only natural satellite in class 4 you must have studied about solar system then you must have also studied that different planets have different number of moons. Only earth has one moon. Rest of the planets have either 2-3 moons or even 16-17 to 17 moons. So it depends on that planet. How many moons does it have? So we are going to talk about the moon which is sur uh, surrounding the earth. Okay. The heavenly body which revolves around the planets is known as satellite what are the heavenly bodies all those heavenly bodies which revolve around the planets is known as satellite the moon revolves around the earth it is 3,84,400 kilometers away from the earth this is the distance of the moon and the earth this you must remember it takes 27 days, 8 hours to complete one revolution where the moon takes 27 days and 8 hours in short you can say 27.3 days to complete one revolution around the earth. We know that the moon revolves around the earth and both of them revolve around the sun also. Okay. So now we are going to talk about the surface of moon. How does the moon look like? Although when we see moon from the earth, it looks very shiny and very bright. Okay, but actually the surface of the moon is not very even. You can see in these images which, are, which I have found on the site of NASA. So these uh, are some of the astronauts while their exploration on the moon. These pictures have been captured. Okay. So, these are, these are some of the images showing the surface of the moon which the satellites have taken. Okay. So, the moon is just a rocky desert. You can see the images that it looks like uh, the moon is having white sand all over it. Okay. Its surface is very rough and uneven. And it is covered with dark grey dust. Okay. That's why it looks almost like a desert. Having white or grey dust. Moon is made up of mountains and craters. Now what are craters? You can see there are some kind of holes or some kind of well like structures on the surface of moon so craters are actually saucer shaped holes that have 
been made when lumps of rocks called meteorites they hit the moon's surface you know what are meteorites meteorites are rocky heavenly bodies that hit any planet or any surface or any other heavenly body so meteorites are rocky planets uh, rocky bodies which hit the surface of the earth now earth is having the atmosphere which restricts meteorites but moon is not having that layer of atmosphere to protect it protect its surface that's why whatever meteorites hit the surface of moon they create high impact on the surface of moon that's why these saucer shaped uh, holes are made which are called as craters okay there are million of craters on the surface of the moon which can be seen from the earth with the help of a telescope so this was a brief introduction about moon okay you have to read this chapter read at least two pages these are some more images from nasa so you were asking in the previous class that what are space shuttles this kind of structure which you can see these are all space shuttles which are just like rockets or space ships or whatever you can call which are sent from the earth into the space for some kind of uh, discoveries and explorations okay that's all for today thank you children